three reasons the crypto market is down. I'm actually going to throw in a couple of, of additional, probably take it to really four or five reasons that the crypto market is down. This is definitely breaking crypto news, some big crypto news for you. Got a lot to cover. So if you're trying to figure out why everything's down, why Ethereum is down almost eight plus percent, we're going to jump into that right now. If we take a look at the overall crypto market, we're down 3.48%, just shy of three and a half percent. Ethereum, as I said, is down eight plus percent. It's definitely leading the charge out of the major blue chips as far as percentage move down. Uh, you can see everything's bleeding. Dogecoin's down 6%, Tuncoin, Cardano, 5% respectively. Avalanche down eight, uh, SHIB down six. Everything is, is in the red dramatically, okay? So I'm gonna, again, tell you exactly what's going on here. We're gonna give you those reasons right now. Do two things, please. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you like what I'm uh, creating here for you as far as content goes. I, and I appreciate you giving me a few minutes. Here we go. So why is the crypto market down? As I mentioned, I'm going to give you three to five reasons for that. Here we go. Number one, we've got the overall um, move down Bitcoin and Ethereum, the market moving down that three and a half to 4%. That's triggered about 300 plus to $400 million in liquidations, creating fear and uncertainty and doubt in the overall crypto market. In fact, let's take a look at uh, the fear and market, uh, the fear and greed index, we moved into a neutral right there on that right side. So we're moving down a little bit and I expect to continue to see that drop uh, in the foreseeable future. Okay, so continuing moving down, uh, we've also got negative sentiment from the US stock market losses. So we're getting some bleed over coming from, you know, the negative sentiment over on the stock side of the house that I think is bleeding over and impacting crypto, creating again, that undercurrent of what fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It is fear and uncertainty that are market killers that move the market down. Okay. We've also got upcoming FOMC meeting. Okay. So the Federal Reserve has got an upcoming FOMC meeting. So now there's kind of starting to be some fear about what are they going to do, not going to do, are they, are they going to maybe actually increase the, the percentage rate? Probably not. I mean, we're getting some decent uh, government reports, the CPI reports, things of that nation, of the, of the, of things of that nature. Uh, but again, there's that fear of what are they going to do? So that's creating, again, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Do you see the theme? Okay. So, and then finally, we've got fear of crypto capitulation. Um, we've got that kind of, that's kind of the, if you really look at everything I've just said in the last, you know, three minutes or so, over all of that is the fear of crypto capitulation. I don't envision that happening, but I think you've got that fear-based scenario out there. Uh, there is that Martin Mount Gox repayment scenario out there. I don't think this is as much of a thing as people are making it out to be. Uh, if you consider if you consider volumes of you know transactions, like you know, look if you look at say you know Bitcoin and you look at Bitcoin's volume is thirty seven billion dollars in the last twenty four hour period. The entirety of the Mt. Gox scenario, you know, we could swallow all that volume in a one 24-hour period and move on. With that, it's the fear around that. People place too much into that. I mean, you always need to look at volumes. Look at the volume of, you know, of Bitcoin, 37 billion. If you, in fact, take a look at the volume of Ethereum, it's 24 .4 billion right there. You know, that number right there. So that's how much volume, that's how much transactions are, or, or, are taking place in a 24 hour period. Okay. So bottom line, we've got those four or five reasons that I gave you. This kind of a mixed bag of why crypto is down. Um, it is what it is guys. And honestly, we're still in July. We're still in that time period where I've been talking about in a lot of videos, where we're going to have, we're going to continue to see this downward uh, you know, uh, roller coaster ride scenario play out. And I'm not overly concerned about it, but it's just something it is what it is right now. Thanks for giving me a few minutes. I'll see you. Take care.